hello guys welcome back to my channel i go by winnie yo i promise you guys a part two of week three review <laughs> which is starting right now when sarah was expressing herself to the all the girls when she finally came down from her hiding spot or her room and finally uh, um, expressed herself and why she cut matt Ma james off in the group date that she wasn't involved in and basically apologizing i felt so bad i felt so bad for her because she was bullied in all honesty she was bullied those girls were malicious i think victoria was even the one making it wor worse than it should have been because she would say something victoria would be like oh i don't accept your apology no who said like no i'm not accept like you know talking back making it worse and aggravating the other girls to talk more and like oh yes you still did this like it's so angry you took out of our time other people are yeah see i understand the girl's frustration right concerning um someone else that i've had a one-on-one -on -one taking out of your time on a group date when you're not involved in it but at the same time sarah definitely did not need those girls coming at her like that because honestly i could see how attacked she was and i i wouldn't want to be in that situation myself i know like i could see that already she's this type of person that she's very emotional and very sensitive so everyone ganging up on her like oh I, like i wouldn't forgive you like us the girl that blonde hair girl i've forgotten her name and i don't care to remember her name the one that said oh if you continue living in this house i'm telling you um it will get worse for you like what does she mean like come on relax girl relax like who are you to say that to someone that you make her life worse in as far as she continues to stay there like yes someone offended you for the fact that she's coming to apologize means something it's not everyone that will apologize if it was victoria that did that do you think victoria will apologize to you victoria is different because if victoria did what sarah did and she apologized to those people all the girls and they are coming at her victoria is the type that won't care like that she will just look for a way pick one person that she felt more attacked with and tell matt and that person now goes home like that's that's victoria for you but unfortunately this girl sarah sarah is not like that she really showed her heart like she's honestly a good person she wasn't trying to talk to some of the some of the girls but they're like i don't i don't talk to you then in the morning they're wondering why she wouldn't talk to any of them like especially that blonde hair girl like she's she has curly hair that girl i don't even care to know her name either like she she was just there talking to was it brie in the morning that oh she didn't talk to any of us blah 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 that you know i'm just going to do my own she will do her own girl like uh, please please take a seat she was already sitting but please take a seat like come on sarah did not deserve that regardless of what she did was wrong you know she didn't deserve to be ganged up on because her feelings are still valid and she couldn't wait to express how she felt and she was almost going to leave the house i just feel like you know they shouldn't have done that to her and katie at first i know like when sarah cut katie off during a group date she was kind of awkward and annoying and you know she's a vibrator girl so i always give her this look like this girl is not a serious person the morning when she spoke to sarah i was actually happy she did that because out of the other girls like she took her time to actually talk to sarah and talk to her in a nice way to understand how she's feeling and encouraged her you know stay like don't do don't go because of what happened that what happened to you was sad like it was sad and you know she understood her like that the, the girls did the wrong thing towards her and even though she still tried to talk to her to stay sarah still decided to go home because of her father's illness which is very valid and i actually resonate with because 
in situations like that you never know what could happen you want to make the most out of time with the ones you love and that's very important because you don't always get back time lost with people you love so yeah um so that that was sad i was actually tearing up we had to <laughs> like i was tearing up when they're tearing up and crying concerning dad and katie and um katie and um, sarah but i i just love the fact that katie did that spoke to her and encouraged her hugged her you know wished her well basically and when she when katie went down to tell the other girls i didn't like the fact that like victoria was clapping that she was going home but i liked how katie addressed them that you don't know people's story and genuinely you don't so you don't treat people anyhow because people might be going through a lot who are you to like say oh i'll make your life worse in this house like that girl i pray she goes home this week i mean next week I bet she goes home next week. Like she can't say that. You can't do that. That's unfair. That's bullying. Well, I liked how she addressed them. That you know, you don't know people's stories, so we have to be mindful of that, basically. So uh, Katie is actually, honestly, starting to grow on me. But I don't know if her and like James, my James, connect. Like you know, if there's chemistry there, but we'll see. But yeah, that's what I think. I think Sarah did not deserve that. She's nice. She did. She made a mistake, but still, she doesn't deserve to be ganged up on. Like understand and be, like she apologized. Just accept it and move on and see how you, how else you can make time with the guy. That's my review for this week three of the Bachelor season twenty five. So. Please let me know what you think. Do you agree with me that Sarah was bullied and the girls should have handled the situation better? What do you think? Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, share if you care, and also leave your comments and tell me what you think, guys. Until we see you next time, I'm Winnie. Bye.